Experience the Roaring Twenties when alcohol was illegal, but speakeasies flourished. Here in Schuylkill Haven at Main Street Moonshine. It's a history lesson from a century ago, surrounded by good food, drinks, and so much more. It's certainly worth the stop here in the Anthracite region. Join me for a visit. Originally, we started out by just watching moonshiners on TV. We had this building. Our intent was to open it as a store. In the zoning ordinance, it actually states that an appropriate use would be for a distillery. So we decided, why not? Something different, something that we could actually pay the bills with. It'd be fun. This building was built in 1905 by Walter Mc Sr. and it was an operating knitting mill up until the early 2000s. It is a solidly built building. It's got a lot of history. The doors in the bar here are from the Christ Lutheran Church that used to be on Dock Street. That church was built in 1905, same year this building was built. We wanted to incorporate them in some place where people would still see them. So we built them into our bar. We wanted to keep the old look of the building. It looks like probably the original hardwood floors. <laughs> we left the feed rails up down here. So this wood in this elevator was from trees cut down prior to the Civil War. Our safe is right here. Oh gosh, it's heavy. They love looking at the scale, but it's very accurate. People come in here and they'll weigh themselves on it just to see. We're kind of going with a sort of prohibition type theme. Outside, it looks like just a plain Jane building, but when you come in, people are really amazed at, at how nice it is inside. We're trying to make it comfortable. I want families to be able to come in here, and our prices are very reasonable on our food. And if you're looking for a good time, our tours, tasting, and make your own flavor moonshine is a lot of fun. You can go through the entire process of the alcohol making with us. We get to smell and taste the heads, hearts, and tails if you want to. It begins in this room. We'll fill these pots up with 25 gallons of water, heat it up to about 100 180 degrees and then dump the hot water into the barrels. We'll dump our granulated sugar, just table sugar, dump 139 pounds of that in here. Then we push them back over to this side and we let them sit for at least a day to cool off. Once we get the yeast in there, then we'll put the lids on, which all have airlock so that oxygen can't get in, but the gases can get out. We move them into this room, which is all insulated so we can control the temperature better. And we don't let the barrels touch each other because they're generating their own heat as well. This one airlock tells us what this barrel is doing. Whatever this barrel is doing is probably what the others are doing. We just let them sit for at least two months. My husband does the distilling. Stephen does the mashing. We're pumping our mash from the containers into each of the three stills. He'll come in here on Monday and he'll start running them and he'll boil off the ethanol. These barrels have been sitting probably for close to three months. So they've all self-clarified. We aren't using any chemicals and we find that we get a much better alcohol product at the end. So we start with 53 gallons of mash and we end up with nine gallons of alcohol. We flavor our product afterward and we use mostly fruit purees or syrups. This is our proofing machine. 50 proof is what we need it to be. We proof it down with our flavor. This is watermelon moonshine and we'll pump it up through this machine. This tightens the lids. So now we're doing like over 400 jars at a time. Everybody gets 10 cups. Then you can go into our tasting room. They have their little sheet and pen to make their choices of what flavors they want. Then the last part of the tour is you go into another room and they take their jar and they could flavor it with candies. Or we have a bunch of different flavorings in here. They can make things that we don't sell and make things that are uniquely theirs. Any questions you have, we're happy to, to answer them. So I have a sample of what I'm told is a very special moonshine. Boilo. It's unique to the anthracite coal region. It's a ginger ale base. Okay. It's got a lot of citrus juices in it, a lot of honey in it. This fall, we're going to be using honey that we're getting from our own bees. Okay, let's try it. That's the top five? That's the top, top five. Yeah. You always kind of get a feel for, you know, these newer moonshine establishments. Always have a great vibe. They've always got an interesting selection. They've always got different drinks. This chocolate Coke, unbelievable. Pretty much the whole family is involved, yes. Yeah. It's all hands on deck. If you're here, you're helping. Our menu is, is pretty varied. We have, we're trying to keep things reasonably priced and we don't mind having children. We do entertainment. Jeremiah James and the Revival every Thursday. It's important for us as a small town to have customers coming in from outside of the area and see what we have. There's a lot of things in our area. It's fun. We want to be a fun place for people to come. I look forward to seeing you in 2022 for an eye exam here at Pottsville Eye Specialist.